Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm at the caravan in the storage yard. Everything's everywhere because uh, obviously it's not nothing's packed away because we're not set up. Um, and I need to do a quick repair, which is to replace the TV aerial socket. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it. It's pretty straightforward. Don't need any special tools. Um, I'll show you what's wrong with the TV socket. Uh, and then I'll get along with uh, doing the repair. Um, please remember, if you're going to attempt anything in your caravan uh, to do with that's got electrics connected, uh, please make sure your mains is switched off and your battery is disconnected. Yeah, as you can see there, just there, you see the bits have broken off. So when we have the uh, TV aerial in, it falls out, which is a bit of a pain. So here we go. Um, the light's not fantastic. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, this. I've got a little flat screwdriver. I'm just gently going to pull the cover off without damaging the caravan. There we go. That reveals the screws. There's six screws, which are Phillips. All of these units here are interchangeable. So you take the casing off and then you can change the socket so you can upgrade things and change things around. Um, I'm going to be replacing this like for like. Um, if I wanted to, I could um, put a satellite line in, but we've got no plans to use um, satellite, so there's no point, but we could run a satellite cable. This would be the opportunity to do it if we wanted to. Here we go, six screws. And away she comes. So there you go. That's the uh, bracket that holds your different switches. As you can see, these are all interchangeable. You can ch change things around. That's my light. That's got my 12 volt and TV. And this is the mains. This is the new unit, which was with postage was just under 10 pounds. So it's not too bad. There you go. And you can see there, it's the NF type uh, socket, and these are the connections for the 12 volt. So, like for like. So all I need to do, if I move it out of the way, is undo the aerial connection, which I've got some pliers for. I want to make sure nothing falls back inside because I don't want to have to start pulling units out um, to get the wires. So I'm going to take the aerial connection off first. It's not very long at all. Um, what I'm going to do is make sure I don't you lose it. I'm going to screw it in, start screwing it in to the new socket. So not much wire to play with. Let me show you F type socket, F type connection socket, and the, those two slides for the 12 volt, and that's it, that's done. There you can have a better look at the damage, that's the bit that was broken. That's a replacement, so let me do a bit of a jigsaw puzzle and uh, get the diesel back in. We were in um, Run Cottage a couple of weeks ago, um, and the TV signal's not fantastic there. Um, but it was even worse because the, the, the aerial lead wasn't getting a fantastic connection because it was hanging out. Uh, which is why I decided I have to change it. And it's, as you can see, it's, it's quite a simple job to do. Um, you don't need to call anyone out. If you can use a screwdriver, you can do this. Here we 
you go, you just tighten that top one up. Job done. Pop the cover back on. It's good as new. There you go. Um, that was quite a, an easy job to do, it only took a few minutes. Um, yeah, I hope this will be of use to somebody. Uh, you may want to change your sockets different, so you could add a 230 or add an additional light or put a satellite line in anyway. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and maybe consider subscribing um, in the next video we're gonna we're gonna change the shower head we're gonna change it up we're gonna use the uh, the we've bought an eco camel uh, orbit to try and get a bit more out of our water um, and uh, we'll let you know how that goes